What's up everyone? Thanks for watching Car and Sign here at Pocono for the very first time. First race I will ever be doing at this track. Actually the first laps that I've ever made on this speedway were about 20 minutes ago. Turned about 8 practice laps and then we qualified. Getting ready to race. I just purchased this track. Had to buy it before we ran here. Never really been the biggest fan of this track, but we're going to see how we like it on uh, our racing. I've, uh, I've honestly never really even driven it on any old video games or much of anything. I've, it's one of those that if I'd come across, I'd just kind of skip it. Don't really know why. It's a very unique track. Very interesting layout. Um, I've, I've, what little bit of practice I've done, I've actually found it kind of fun. Kind of wondering why I would always yeah, skip two. over. Additional sets of tires so, for this race. Uh, Be smooth and have a good run. We will see how this goes. Maybe uh, pick up a decent finish here. Back. Have a little fun. This is open setup. Got a pretty decent setup under us. Um, <coughs> qualified P3 with a 54.69. Good, good, good morning, everybody. We kind of kind of messed up uh, second lap. I, I felt yeah, like I could have been about a about a tenth quicker where I was. I really overdrove uh, the middle and exit of uh, the, the last corner, the Milwaukee Mile corner. But it didn't really hurt as much. I don't think we would have gained anything from it. Looking at the split between us and second place, um, so. Pretty satisfied, considering I've not run many laps here. How many people we got in this field, Ryan? Everybody say hello to Ryan. Twelve, I think. But the, the, whoever qualified for it didn't show up. Uh oh. Which means I'm gonna be beside you. <clears throat> yeah, we got our uh, got our teammate over there, Mr. Ryan Dock, Buffalo Wild Wings. He's our teammate in the Venom Truck Series League. He's going to be racing along with us, but anyways, open setup, 50 laps, two extra sets of tires on top of the ones we're starting on. I do not believe we will have enough fuel to go the distance. We will have to make at least one pit stop. This should be should be a fun one. Let's we'll see if we can't just stay clean, keep the fenders on it, and get a top five. Top five here, top five. <laughs> Don't wreck. Don't wreck. Yeah, that's, that's another thing. All right, Earl. Let's just right not on. tell anybody in this lobby that I've only run about eight laps at this track. <laughs> Truthfully, maybe about ten. Hey, cars off. Be ready. Be ready. Green flag. Outside. Still there. Clear high. Thank you, sir. Anything I've ever noticed from these setups is be a little easy and let them come to you. Oh, I'm always a little easy. <laughs> that is what she said. Push me, push me. About the time I was thinking, woo, it's getting a little free. <laughs> you started hollering. Yeah, at any point, you get up behind me and you don't want to make a late, uh, a late move. You can push me, just tell me. The 
This number 12 is in a good spot. If he's got a good setup to be ranked last in a big open session with people with high I rating, because Rachel's, I'm pretty sure, is like four or 5,000, and then sneak in and get a top five because you got a good setup, be a good spot to be in. Really help your I rating. kind of taking it easy right now figuring the track out seeing what the truck's going to do i'm not run more than eight laps on, on a set of tires um well not run more than eight laps all together really uh, eight lap stint in practice and then qualified so really unfamiliar with what the truck's going to do over the course of a long run like we got about 30 laps on the set. Maybe cut this race in half. Can't get to the bottom and turn one. What she said. What do he say? Take me on the front stretch, sir. <laughs> I've got to start getting to the bottom on these corners. I'm just taking it way too easy and just letting it ride up. In the two fix up races I did, no, no one ever really got to the bottom. And three. There, didn't you? I sure did. Outside, you're clear. Did again. I had to get way out of the throttle to not run over him. <laughs> inside. Still inside. Oh my gosh, Yay! dude. Inside, inside. Clear, clear, clear. Good job. Did he come up that much? Yep. Oh, yeah. 56.91. Man, I left him plenty of room. Oh, I know. He was not clear even in the slightest. I'm 
little too aggressive there. Did you get an X out of that? Yeah, I got four X. Tent, just letting him go. Making plenty of room. Lifted early. Everything. He still I probably should have passed him. I wasn't really for sure what was going to happen. Either one of y'all were going to break loose. So I tried to go like way down to the bottom. I got super loose in the process. I thought I was just going to hook him into the wall. He's into the wall. I saw that. It's just so hard to come through too, too wide. Yeah, I don't know how y'all did it. I'd push you if I was up there. Oh, you're fine. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about pushing here too much. He gets so loose out of one, and I get this run, but I can't. Uh, can't do anything with it because I gotta tiptoe through two here. Let's do a slide job here. Outside. Still outside on your quarter. Jimmy, you don't have to lie to me. Or chat to me. You don't have to lie to me. They just said, you're faster than leaders. Keep it up. No, I'm not. <laughs> I should have never let him go because he fell off anyways. As loose as I was, I was just holding you guys up. I was going to let him go and he runs over me. I should have just stayed in it. Such a tough call because you don't really know if he's going to burn his stuff up or what he did. So, right. These straightaways are so long. I can almost get a drink of coffee. thing I did learn in the fix race, don't in turn two accidentally hit the apron. Oh, I would say that won't work at all. Bad things happen. <laughs> you want to talk about loose? 56.297. Pretty sure my truck was shaped like a pretzel. You hit the wall. No, I was I was so loose. I was think like my rear end was pointing forward. My oh, I got was you. Sideways. <laughs> I got you. <clears throat> oh, what's this? Thank you. Thank you. You know what you're coming. You are. You are the man. Thank you. That was nice. 
What? Him just like dropping down to the Oh, bottom. yeah, I know. I thought you said what I was saying. I'm like, not really. <laughs> <laughs> loose, loose, loose. I'm driving on the right rear. How long's the field run here? 20 more laps. Good lord. So you can go about 34 laps on a tank or so? I got you in turn one. Tunnel turn. We're about even. And then three, you got me. I let up way early there because I didn't have any idea where the entry of the corner was. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering why you backed off so soon. Somebody's trying to change their relative and they keep slapping another button. I just cannot get through turn one. Check out that hotkey. that says I cannot get through turn one. Just every time I go through it. Lift a little earlier. Oh, I drove off the cliff. Left, 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 right, left. <laughs>
You know, I, I feel like I'm better. I know I'm better than you in one. And then I, we, we're kind of even in the tunnel turn, and then three, you pull back away. But I'm starting to wonder if dirty air really doesn't play into this. It probably does. Because it's like the closer I get to you, the worse my truck handles. What do you I guys? I it funny that I'm better than you in three, which is the turn model after the track that I cannot stand. Oh, I don't like Milwaukee Mile either. You got me that time. I drove into to uh, too low. What are you letting off at? Orange cone. Me too. I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> Thought you was gonna tear the wall down. I know where I'm messing up in the final corner. I'm, I'm trying to hit the bottom way too soon. I don't know that sometimes I ever even get to the bottom. Yeah, I'm, I'm riding that line and it's killing me on exit because I can't get back to the gas. We're slowly catching Rachel. Yep. Whoa, son. Just about killed it. Yeah, I think I was wrong for hating on this track so much at this very unique and kind of, kind of fun to drive. It's, it's, it's so different. Yeah, every turn is a different idea. Like, it feels like a road course that I'm actually halfway decent on. Well, like, it, it just doesn't, you know, it's, it is 100% the most boring track I ever on TV. It is boring. But it's not too good. I think it's, yeah, it's fun on here. Yeah, I agree.
We didn't yeah, I was. Good. I knew he was coming. I was like, should I say something? I'm like, nah. Although the second she pitted, that was. I just about went in behind her. Well, I saw her peel off, and I thought about it, and then I went, never mind. One more left. I got one second of damage. Go man, go, 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 go. Hard, 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 hard. Be mindful, you only have one set of cards remaining. Can you merge on the track right here? Yep. She gained two and a half seconds by putting a lap ahead of us. I'm happy that you only gained a second on me, considering I had a second of damage. That works out pretty good. Your tires. Seventy-five, eighty-one. I was at eighty, eighty-one. I probably abused them a lot on that last lap too. I went, oh God, I pushed as hard as I could possibly push. I pushed a little too hard early on and then kind of backed off. I wonder if they have cautions here. What do you mean? I just wonder if there's yellow flags where it's so yeah. big. Yeah. I didn't know. I thought maybe they'd do road course rules and not have full co full course cautions. Uh, it's, we're in NASCAR series of NASCAR rules. <laughs> That's true. I've never... When they run road courses though, they don't do cautions. Good job, but get that rid of good. Good. Do they? Good job, yeah, when I raced at Coda that one race. We had like three. <laughs> oh, well, maybe that was just because I, I've only ever run a road course one time in a NASCAR series. That was Watkins Glen, and that was week 13, so maybe they just... Oh, week 13 don't have cautions. There you go. That's why. I think they're a little bit more lenient on cautions on the road course. Um, right. 
down. You spin out up on the you know, you're on the track sitting sideways, it's gonna it's gonna call it. How do you like this setup? I like it. Yeah, it handles pretty good, don't it? It does. I don't know what the one and the two have under their trucks that make it... Talent. <laughs> I'll not be afraid to admit that, as far as myself goes. If I, uh, this setup's awesome, I just, I just don't know how to drive it. Okay, hi, Michael. But to be fair, I've only ever run... <laughs> this race plus about 10 laps. I got so loose off of one. It just destroys your whole lap. Oh yeah, until you can get speed back. Well, you got your force feedback set too. 14.1 13 Oh, I'm at 12.6 I'm just a half a turn up from you And then I'm 100 constant force on the wheel I'm at 80 on the wheel I've started to get used to it now like, yeah, it, me too. I don't even notice how strong it is. Normally, I'll do automatic setting, and then I'll turn it half a click down from whatever auto is, just so I know I'm not clipping. Which I'm not even going to the yellow right now. I don't think I am either. Give that a try. Oh, hovering up there, mid to three quarters up green, and then that's about it. I went up to 13.1. I didn't realize that I was that good on the clipping. I could use just a tad bit more weight. I could use just a tad bit more talent. Yeah. I feel like buying something crazy happening. We might be locked into our positions here. Yeah. And I'd be happy with that. Oh, I'll take a third. <laughs> All day. Especially the guys that probably have I ratings that are 2,000 more than mine. Yeah, same. You ever thought about getting like, the overlays that like, these other guys have on their screens? I have, but you gotta pay for them. Yeah, they're like ten bucks a month or something. Never mind. I ain't worth it for that. <laughs> no, if I'm gonna pay for anything like that, I'll just get a pay-to-win setup. Oh, what happened to Wade? He was in fifth. Huh. I don't know. Whoa, baby. I tried to tear her down. 56.21. Number. I'd like to be lonely then. Fifty-six point three 
So what were your first reactions when you saw my team? Yours? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was awesome. That was way better than I anticipated. <laughs> I actually toned it back some. I had so much more America vomit all over it. And I toned it back. <laughs> That's funny. I think I started a trend though. The eyeball? Yeah, the, the, we're the brew crew now. Buffalo Wild Wings has their own draft though in-house draft, so there you go. Are we sponsored by O'Doyle's? You will. It's a you know, non-alcoholic beer. Oh, uh, yeah. Or it's, Duff's or whatever it's called. That's a... Uh, ain't that Irish, though? I don't know. you got to be American, man. It's got to come from America. You need Natty Lights. Natty Light, baby. I can't believe nobody took that. I would have. My stepdad will go to races and take like two cases of Natty Light. <laughs> oh my gosh. He would always say it tastes terrible and it takes a lot to get drunk, but they're cheap. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what everybody thinks of them. I've actually never had that, so I don't have a clue. I've had a sip of about three beers in my entire life. I heard that. Sound like somebody got loose. I don't know about that loose. My hiccup, you're hard. Oh, I didn't understand a thing he just said. I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, I was in bed by like 8.30 last night. We were at Wolfville till 10. <laughs> Dude, I was, I was exhausted after getting up at 3.30 all week, working 10 hours a day, getting home at 5, not going to bed till late. I was, I was ready for bed. I actually got yeah. a full eight hours last night. Almost. I probably got about seven and a half. We're going to the Richlands Freedom Festival today. We're going to be in Honeacre for the fireworks. Rich Lance is setting theirs off tonight, too. Oh, really? I was, was going to tell you to bring him to Honeacre. I was going to go to Honeacre until I found out Rich Lance is doing theirs on the second night. Ah, uh, I got you. I almost entered a hot dog eating contest. You should have. I just know, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't think I could do it with hot dogs. Wings, I, maybe. I love me some hot dogs. Like, love me hot dogs. But I don't know that I could eat for 10 straight minutes and see how many I got. I don't know that I could do it. Back when I was sick and everything I was eating was like tearing my stomach up, New Year's, we had hot dogs. And uh, I, was, I was sick as could be all New Year's. I went to bed at like 9 o'clock on New Year's night. Didn't even stay up. Like it just felt like somebody had a knife in my stomach. So hot dogs are, and me are kind of done. Yeah, they won't be that way now. No, but I just, it's just certain foods that would 
hurt me that I, I just can't stand anymore. I, I don't like pop anymore at all. Can't stand it. Coke used to be like my favorite drink, and I can't stand the taste of it anymore. Pizza, I hate pizza. Yeah, I know. And like, it's just one of those. It's weird. It's weird too because uh, I know I like it. I know I've always liked it, but I just I can't convince myself again. I didn't know that Wolfields didn't have food. I thought for sure they had like bar food, right? Oh, I didn't know that either. I've yeah, never been there. They have bags of chips and little tiny Slim Jims. That's it. They have like a gift shop or anything? They do have a gift shop, but I didn't see any of like the actual beer. Not to say that you can't buy it, but... Because Jim went and looked in, she's going to buy a hat, but their hats are like $30. No, thank you. This poor eight truck has like. Where exactly is Wolfhills? Thank you, thank you. You know, you know where Water Street is? Right past uh, Food Country. Well, it's right before it. The, the street where you can go through the river. Yeah. Deadmore Street. Um, well, it's not the side that you go through the river. It's on the other side of Main Street. It's that same street, just on I the got other you. side of Main Street, and you go and you turn right right there at the Bird and the Raven, and uh, you'll see a sign that says Wolfhills. It's right there. Uh, I got you. It's literally sitting right behind the Bird and the Raven before you get to the railroad tracks. It was packed last night for that band that I follow. Clear, clear. Oh, you're good. Well, there's about a half a second. What'd he do? He was trying to get out of my way, and he juked me. He thought I was going to pass low, so he stayed high, and then when I started going low, he went low, and then when I went back high, he went back high. Oh, one of those things you do in the shopping, like in the grocery store? Yeah, he couldn't he figure out where I was going. He's been really cool though, about getting out of the way. People like that, I might send him a setup, you know. <laughs> I've done that from time to time. Watch the guy that runs last and just doesn't have it, but it's, you know, kind of respectable. Right. Is this race almost over? <laughs> Seven laps. I want to spin out real quick. Much is back up. I do not want to bunch back up. Why not? Because I am perfectly content where I am. That's true. I'm not going to, like, somehow magically beat the one or the two. So. But I could probably easily screw up and lose spots. Right, that's how I feel. I called it. What? And I clipped the wall. Uh oh. Can't have a fiber out of the fierce time. Look good. Where are you going? Trying to break that draft. <laughs> yep. That's <laughs> what it looked like. Did you see the Arca race yesterday? No. Holy cow. The wild? Yeah. The Arca races are always wild. 
what happens? Just some crazy blocks, crazy restarts. I'll send you some stuff later. What actually happened was I was trying to readjust myself. Like, you're nuts? Yeah. <laughs> gotcha. I think I'm going to have enough time to catch you. What I'm so excited for? What's that? High school football. Yeah. I'm so ready to be back in the stands. Oh yeah, I know. Tweeting my little brains out. Somebody got quiet. Somebody's trying to catch me. <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying to pay attention to what I'm doing. I know what you're doing when you get quiet. <laughs> Drive hard. <laughs> yep. I rode around for way too long. I tell you what, I've cut about six seconds off of Rachel's gap.
Yeah, that was fun, that was fun. Yesterday you were faster than me, now I'm faster than you. All right, nice job. I had the same problem like you today. I was yesterday 0 0.4, 0 0.5 seconds off pace to you. So, no, no. I'll take a third place with the ZRX. Four eggs. You going back? You going back and watching that? Good job, there, Thanks for the day. Sounds good. Do what? You going back and watching where you slid up into you? I thought you were gonna get me, but I don't even remember what lap it was. Uh, good race, guys. Lap seven. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, I just drove in high, let him go. Oh, yeah, he did just slide up. Oh, yeah, he come up big time. So you left him all the room in the world. Yeah, I, I felt like I did. I didn't get any damage from grazing the wall. Alright guys, well, that's that. Finish P4, field of 13. That was, I mean, uh, he just flat out. That's pretty just fun. Just sent it. <laughs> oh, learning the track, trying to get up to speed, figure out what we're doing. Just lack of talent when it comes to this place. Just not the fastest person. Had a really good setup. But uh, just not not up to par on the track yet. Figuring out my breaking points, throttle points, stuff like that. Figuring out how to run the line. So we'll uh, continue to learn. Oh my God! Click off a few more decent finishes here. But as always, thank you guys for watching Car Inside. Yeah. Uh, we will see you next time.